Oh shit, it's been two weeks and I'm back and I missed your ass. Nature Gone the Third Short Story Bingo Episode 28 is full in fact. Uh, I took a couple weeks off. Uh, my little sister came in town and um, shouts out to you, Angie, and uh, the United States Navy. Navy. Um, yeah, super happy about that. So, uh, But I'm back in full effect, ready to rock and roll. Got a little rejuvenated after that little time frame out. But you know who it is. Nate Chacon III, this is Short Story Bingo. If this is your first time, welcome. If this is your second time, the retention program is working. Um, what we do on this podcast is I either read a short story by myself or with a guest. And uh, I become a glorified narrator. So it's like audible, sort of. I'm that um, that voice uh, that actually says something when you're listening to an audiobook rather than just letting a crazy line just skirt past. So, yeah, you should welcome. Uh, again, episode 28. We're going to be reading today um, from a tiny little book that I got for Christmas from my mother-in-law. She got it... Uh, I don't even know where she got it, but I'm not even going to act like where, where I know she got it from. But it is called Strange Stories from Sing Sing, and uh, Sing Sing is a prison in New York. Um, this is uh, by Lewis E. Laws, L-A-W-E-S. Of course, I'm going to include a um, link to get this book. Uh, this particular little, it's the tiniest book ever that I have right here. It, the copyright is 1934, so it's certainly a banger. Like, I should probably... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show um, uh, the, I should show the picture of how like old this book is um, when I start the group page for Short Story Bingo. But with that said, I have a very special guest here, and who are you? Hey, it's Mandy. I wanted to hear a story before bedtime, so I decided to join in tonight. So we're drinking Pinot? No, Shiraz. Got some Shiraz. Yeah. Had some food? Yep. Made some good dinner. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. It's, a, now it's time for a bedtime story. It's time for a bedtime story. And what better bedtime story than some sort of prison story? Yeah, Sing Sing. How do you not... How are you not familiar with Sing Sing? I have no idea what it is. Have, I, have you not watched Law and Order once in your life? Yeah, I have, but like I didn't know that it was like Sing Sing was a thing. Um, yeah, like okay. every other episode, it's doink doink. And then, we went to Sing Sing. And then it says and, on the bottom, Sing Sing. Okay, I didn't know that. All right. Well, nonetheless, though, super excited about it. Super happy you're here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, in the last two weeks, some different countries and different states have taken places of. Uh, being the top um, location that's been listening in on the podcast. Um, P.S. Like, super grateful that folks have still been hitting me up about it. Uh, and by it, I mean the podcast is about saying that um, that they've been asking for uh, me to record. So, certainly appreciate it. Uh, but the three countries, top countries beyond the United States, of course, we have Canada, the U.K., and Italy. Italy's a little bit off. It hasn't. I. I don't think I've, I've announced Italy before, but it's in that order: Canada, UK, and Italy. And the top states beyond Utah, we have a newcomer, ladies and gentlemen: California, Minnesota, and Wyoming. Which is, yeah, Texas was a close third behind Wyoming. It was right there, but. Yeah, California, Minnesota, and Wyoming. So uh, if you're in Minnesota, well, all my Minnesota homies, what's up, man? Uh, I feel like we don't talk much anymore, and I'm kind of sad about it. So. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. It's cold as fuck. Also, the random Twitter follower shout out goes out to my little sis at the Sarah No H, and that's uh, at T H E S A R A N O H. But we got to start it. So here it is the opening song, theme song. Short story bingo. Short story bingo. Short story bingo. Short story bingo. Sometimes they're funny and sometimes they're sad. Most of the time they're funny because I hate to be sad. Short story bingo. Short story bingo. Short story bingo. Short story bingo. But don't take my word for it. Spare fingers. Yes. Guilty persons 
if they are judged insane, are not given the death penalty. Instead, after careful supervision by alienists and doctors, they are sent to the hospital for the criminally insane. Ed Williams was not insane at his trial. At least he passed all the tests designed to prove that he knew the difference between right and wrong. He'd killed two men during a holdup. Killed in cold blood, apparently. In order to remove any witnesses to his crime, he had gotten away with something over $25,000. A payroll that was being sent to a manufacturing town. Wait, what? So... He stole their payroll. He stole the payroll to... That's like Trump just taking, putting, imposing all those tariffs. He just stole payroll to <laughs> a lot of aluminum workers. Mm, poor Ed. What? Actually, I know an Ed. I don't, I don't. <laughs> he wasn't an awesome Ed. Eds, get get your life game up, Eds. <laughs> but also, like the the at the beginning, guilty persons if they are judged insane are not given the death penalty. Why? Because you think you can rehabilitate them? No, because they're just crazy and they didn't know any better. Okay, so they just play Tinker Toys and fucking Lincoln Logs the rest of the time they're in prison? That's fine. That's fine. Let them play. He covered his tracks well. Too well. Well, that usually means that they know what they're doing. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, that's what I'm saying. is like, killed in cold blood, apparently. Uh, apparently um, oh, wait, yeah. Ed Williams was not insane at his trial, is what they're saying. At least he passed all the tests designed to prove that he knew the difference between right and wrong. Okay. Okay. He covered his tracks well. Too well. The men were dead, the only ones who could identify him. So, he's already in the clear. What? No. Well, sort of, because he obviously got caught. Well, I know. <laughs> well, he was far away in the next state when they came to arrest him. Hold on. Okay, so he had to do something stupid in order to get caught. <sighs> Fuck. He was far away in the next state when they came to arrest him. But he had left what investigators call his calling card. I think this is so. This is co- uh, copyright in nineteen thirty four. I would also say, like, the smoking gun probably is, like, a good analogy for that. He was a wet bandit. Yeah. <laughs> like, on Home Alone. On Home Alone. He clogged all the sinks and... That's what do they call it? What, what was it, like, dirt? It wasn't dirty wet bandit. It was just, like, wet... It was just the wet bandit. Okay, the wet bandits. Oh, my God. That's a perfect name for, like, someone, like, a, a upstart ska band that's trying to reinvigorate <laughs> that feeling. Like, what do you... What's your guys' name? Uh... Uh, yeah, the Wet Bandits, man. We <laughs> just, I don't know, we kind of hang out in my dad's basement. He's hes a widower. and um, But we we we, uh, we think we got something really going on. Don't we, Terry? Terry, Terry hates the name. Yeah, he hates the name, the Wet Bandits. Because he <laughs> hates the movie Home Alone. Is oh, why. come on. <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> he was far away in the next state when they came to arrest him. But he had left what investigators call his calling card. His fingerprints were found on the door of the automobile in which the bank messengers were riding. It was only a matter of careful checking, checking to find the matching fingerprints filed in the detective bureau. Now, this is like the 30s. So, like, how easy was that? That actually really surprises me. Why? That they'd have the technology or whatnot back then to be able to have all those identifications for the points on a fingerprint. Well, I feel like database. I, I it does me too, but I also think that they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> like I think I think that there was like a, a like a watch and you're like um I don't know, maybe. I think that's it. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if it was I don't know if it was like super calculated. But I think I, I know that when um the FBI like was formed like fingerprints and just like straight um, crime scene investigative work was uh, definitely like a, a new science that was being um, certainly sought like to incorporate within like a crime scene. So that doesn't surprise me as much as like feeling feeling like how 
like there's so many cases of of un or folks that were accused wrongly in, during that time frame even based on the developing sciences that they were using you know what i'm saying i can absolutely see that. yeah but whatever i mean they found it so i mean that makes sense see this is what i'm saying is it makes sense now if they found the fingerprints but in 1934 that doesn't make sense to me like if you left your fingerprints it's like oh it's 1934 they don't fucking know there's no way <laughs> that they have that yet like radio still cool fucking no there's no way that I don't know, you know, like I get, I get like signature comparisons, but fingerprint comparisons, it still seems like weird to me that such a new thing. Yeah. Like how would you be like, yeah, that's for sure him. But if it was him, then it was him. It was only a matter of careful checking to find the matching fingerprints filed in the detective bureau. Arrested, convicted, sentenced in less than a week. Williams seemed not to realize the necessity for action until too late. It was then that he remembered that insanity, well, a plea of insanity would have saved him from the electric chair. Mm. Oh, fuck. No, I'm insane. I'm sick. I'm uh, no. I know. No, 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 no. So it's over now. He just hit the gavel. So it's over. I said, dude, I told you, I told you that I'm fucking crazy, that we were going to go with me being insane. I shouldn't be talking about this out in public. You're right. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot that we talk about these things outside of here because everyone just heard me say that I am sane, but I'm. I was talking a lot, ain't I? Arrested, convicted, sentenced in less than a week. Williams seemed not to realize the necessity for action until too late. It was then that he remembered that insanity, well, a plea of insanity would have saved him from the electric chair. He could have made out he was crazy. That was easy enough for him. He was a smart guy. A little rolling around, eyes wild, queer, senseless talk. That might have saved him, but here he was in the death house now. Doink, doink. <laughs> doink, doink. <laughs> it was never too late to have a try at it, however. It was never too late to have a try at it. You know what? We'll try it still. Yeah, we'll. So I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna eat my shit <laughs> for a month. Or my um, shoes. You don't gotta eat. You 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 know you don't have to eat your shit. You know that, right? Um, I don't know that, but I'm I know. Gonna try it. I'm gonna. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go through with it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fi- figure it out. It was never too late to have a try at it. However. And so Ed Williams decided to become insane. They would have to give him a new trial. He could carry it through and he would be saved. His life at least. After that, he could think of some way of escaping. But escape was impossible from the three times guarded death house. Ed grew violent. He thrashed his arms about in meaningless uh, meaningless gestures. Day after day, he carried on his act. A more thoroughly insane person it would be uh, a more thoroughly insane person it would be hard to find because Williams was good. He gave the best imitation of an insane man that the guards had seen, and they never doubted that the strain of solitary confinement had unbalanced his mind. Reading he gave the best imitation that the guards had seen just like gives like ha- I could just see him like and I'm not even being fucking weird about this like him prepping it like like looking at me like okay just looking in the mirror yeah okay i no No, i can't that's because i that's too low so you gotta hit yourself maybe i don't even have to you know maybe i don't even have to have a weird voice so just be like whoops did i pour the fucking hot soup on terry fitzgerald yeah i did that's crazy, right? That's insane. Okay, I'm trying too hard. Here we go. I like the color purple. The movie? I, I don't know if it's a movie yet because it's 1934. Oh. 
<laughs> but him going through like shit to like fucking figure it out like is much for me. That's okay. The warden visited him, tried to quiet him. Men who he had known before coming to Sing Sing were sent to the bars of this. Huh? I just threw in a doink doink. Oh. The warden visited him, tried to quiet him. Men he had known before coming to Sing Sing. Sing Sing. Doink doink. Okay. Were sent to the bars of the cell to see if he would recognize them. Not the faintest gleam of understanding came into his eyes. He was evidently a victim of a very violent, maniacal type of insanity. Oh, obviously, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's like, oh, hey, Jake. I mean, what? I, I mean, who are you? <laughs> no, just go to the back, yeah, please. I don't know you. I don't know you. Come on, man. You fucking for sure know me. Jake. Uh, Gerald, John, uh, <laughs> Dad, fuck, um... Please leave. I'm I'm drunk. I'm drunk. How did you get liquor? You're drunk, and I'm playing. I gotta go for sure. Like have to leave. No way. This guy was a good actor. He was good. Oh, what the fuck does that mean? Did, did I not? You know he is. Yeah, he's good. He's doing well. He tried to cut his wrist with a blunt knife. Ouch. Yeah. Also, just friction. <laughs> Just catch yourself by Yeah, like he tried to cut his wrist with a blunt knife. All implements of that sort were taken from him. Okay, we gotta get the blunt knives from him now because no, I I was using them too, but like he not to cut myself. I, he can't cut himself. You know that, right? You can't cut yourself with a blunt knife. Fuck you, Rory. Like I, <laughs> Rory. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he can do whatever. He cut himself with a blunt knife. I cut him with a blunt knife. Did I say that? Hello. He used the sheet to attempt suicide. He was dragged down before any damage was done to him. Oh my god, just fucking just in his okay, like well just pulling it down like like making sure that it's okay, this sheet'll do. I mean I only have a foot in between my feet and the floor. So But was he really trying? No, was he was he, he was just so, I'm, I, I, I mean, would imagine he was just insane. That's what I'm gathering. So, I mean, even though he was attempting suicide, he knew that all of his attempts were, were fueling were, the insane, um, the the insane point that he was going to bring up, like right. the next, in his next so he's appeal. Like, he's like, I'm going to hang myself, but it's real loose. But it's real loose because I'm insane and don't know how to kill myself, but know how to kill other people when in the moment. Which is really extended, but like <laughs> <laughs> he was dragged down before any damage was done to him. The news got around; he had gone crazy. The bug house got old Williams. Finally, one morning, he used his last card. This was really going to be suicide. Just as the guard came to bring him bring his breakfast, Williams swallowed something from the tin cup at his side. Shards. At once he fell to the floor, writhing, his face contorted in terrible agony. Like Jalen Brown tonight. No. The, yeah, the Boston Celtics forward. Yeah, he for sure is hurting. William swallowed something from the tin cup at his side. At once he fell to the floor, writhing, and his face contorted with terrible agony. The guard ran for the doctor, the other keepers. Williams had really succeeded this time. He would be dead before they got there. Poison it was. He'd seen him with his own eyes, rolling on the floor there, his eyes clear, his eyes clear in the back of his head. Ugh. The doctor arrived with the stomach pump. Stomach pump, bring it. Bring over the stomach pump. It's a Dyson. <laughs> the state cannot be cheated of lawfully taking the life of a prisoner condemned to death. Let me reread that. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't... The doctor arrived with a stomach pump. The state cannot be cheated of lawfully taking the life of a prisoner condemned to death. So if a prisoner dies on death row, the state's good. They're like, oh, well, they fucking killed themselves, but they were already on death row. Right. 
So why pump his stomach? Wasn't he on death just because? Row? It, yeah, but just because they're trying to not let him kill himself like that. Like there's a there's a certain there's a certain amount of gratuity that you have when you're like, <laughs> like oh yeah, we killed him no, and we watched. I want to do it. Yeah, exactly. And all these people are gonna watch him do it. Like gotcha. there's people that take that like you know they're gratified by that. So they're like, fuck, we gotta keep him alive for sure. <laughs> Also, who gave him the poison, Dick? Like it's that toilet wine. <laughs> yeah, fuck. The state cannot be cheated of lawfully taking the life of a prisoner condemned to death. Keepers held Williams' arms and legs while the doctor inserted the stomach pump. Mm. The insane man I I say quotations, the mm. insane man continued to writhe and moan. And the doctor continued to pump. Ugh. I just want the doctor to have a cigarette in his mouth and like on the exhale is like, we have four left. <laughs> that was probably the case. I hope so. Like, <laughs> I just hope so. And I want it to be like, just like a situation where everyone's like kind of like standing around like, I mean, if he goes, he goes. Also, you owe me 20 bucks for sure. Because I said he was going to kill himself before. Doctor just ashing on his shoulder. Yeah, just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what ghastly poison came out of the stomach of the Slayer whose life belonged to the state? The doctor kept on pumping out the contents of the stomach. It was terrible. Terrible. Anyone who has had a stomach pump used on him knows that it is about as frightening and distasteful an ordeal as can be suffered uh, after having a baby because I'm sure that that's fucking super painful for sure also who right anyone who has had a stomach pump used on him knows that it is about as frightening and distasteful an ordeal as can be suffered Lewis E. Laws for sure had a stomach pump on him. <laughs> he's the only other one. At yeah, that time. like there's like he's this like <laughs> I drank way too much wine. I'm not gonna lie, like for sure there was. <laughs> I took some pills. I took. Okay, I don't. I, I, was, it was, I was. It was a long night. My and back if you, hurt. You know, and if you need to judge me for that, then maybe don't buy my book. I had to call the doctor. I'm I'm dying. So I just I have a I have a go fund a GoFundMe. I know it's 1934, but I have a GoFundMe, and I just really hope that you guys can. You know, I just pump. really want to go on vacation because that stomach pump was traumatizing. The stomach pump actually um, uh, clogged my bowels, and so oh. now I want to go on a cruise. Um, but I was asked to relinquish or provide paperwork about my medical condition, and um, because of my IBS. Uh, I said that I'm not a candidate uh, for a cruise. Anyway, this guy had his stomach pump. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor kept on pumping out the contents of the stomach. It was terrible. Anyone who has had a stomach pump used on him knows that it is about as frightening and distasteful an ordeal as can be suffered. Finally, the prisoner's eyes, Ed Williams, finally the prisoner's eyes focus on the doctor. He looked as if he would uh, like to talk. The hose was taken from his mouth. Uh, it ain't nothing, doc. Only vinegar. But get that stomach pump away from me. I can't stand no more of that. I may be nuts, but I ain't crazy enough to go through that no longer. It was just vinegar? And that's the end of No Questions Asked. Yeah, it was just vinegar. And for him to be like saying, I may be nuts, but I ain't crazy enough to go through that no longer. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking crazy as shit, but I, I ain't drinking vinegar goddamn again. I'll fucking take the electric chair. I'll fucking. <laughs> He's like, fine. I'll make you license win. plates. I'll make license plates till I need to hit the electric chair. I'll fucking do that. <laughs> It was, was Alka Seltzer. It just, <laughs> it just it always foaming at the mouth. Pop rocks and vinegar. <laughs> Anyway, strange stories from Sing Sing. We made this a a tiny episode to get back into the groove and everything. Episode 28, short story bingo. Again, my name is Nate Chacon III, and I have my guest here. It's Mandy. Do you have anyone you want to shout out or anything you want to shout Um, out? Yeah, I'm going to shout out Jennifer because she is super loyal, 
And she's my girl listening in Texas. So Jennifer Arrieta, whoop, whoop. Whoop. Hell yeah. Well, we'll probably tr- we'll, we'll read again from that. It'll be a while. I feel like, though, listening or, like, reading that, I think that, especially, like, having been in, like, in the military, like, knowing some of the crazy shit that people do to, like, just get out of, like, a certain position, like, that doesn't surprise me that he would do something. I mean, because humans are pretty pretty reluctant and, and pretty uh, well um, equipped to not like like if there's a situation that like I'm going to I've got to I'm going to be dead or something like in this particular case he's getting the electric chair for him to try to figure out some other way to get out of it not weird to me the fact that he said that he was insane and was doing this you already blew your cover man because you have like he, you're you're he way had too the trial yeah like you if you didn't do it then you messed it's up. over you're it's done. over you're it's done, over dude. you gotta be crazy during the trial that's what that's what that's <laughs> what the trial is for it, that's why you have a jury is for people to be like yeah no he's fucking gnar like he can't <laughs> yeah like he can't he can't do shit like he's definitely weird like but i don't know so he just t- took it upon himself to take or to drink vinegar and hang himself. And then hang and himself. Try, try to uh, slit his wrist with a blunt knife. Yeah, he's pretend. He's it's pretend. It's all pretending. He was bored. It's all pretending. But uh, I'm gonna put it. Like I said, I'm gonna put a link in the description. Uh, again, strange stories from Sing Sing. One more time. Random Twitter follower shout out goes out to my little sis at the Sarah No H. So S A R A. Um, the full handle is at T H E S A R A. N O H. So shout out to you. And yeah, episode 20. I think that's what I think that's in the books. What do you think? Yeah, I think I'm going to go watch some Law and Order. Are you really? Yeah, of course I am. My God. Of course. <laughs> episode 29 is right around the corner, though. And then episode 30 is next week. So yeah, what's. Uh... Dun, dun, dun. Spare fingers. Yes.